Section 5.1, Polynomials and Polynomial Functions. So first we're going to start with the degree of the polynomial. The degree, when you've got a monomial, you just take the degree or the exponent of your variable. So in our case, the degree would be 3. Now this one, we've got two variables. So what you do is you just add up the exponents. So our degree would be 10. Now what happens if you don't have a monomial? What you do is you take the degree of each of them. So the degree of this one would be 8 plus 3, which is 11. The degree of this one would be 7. And this one, there is no variable, or it would be like x to the 0. So the degree would be 0. And then you just take the biggest number. So your degree is 11. So now we're going to write the polynomial in descending order. Descending is just from high to low. Just like when a plane descends, it's going from the air to the ground, so high to low. So you just look at your exponents. And so that's your highest exponent, so he'll be first. Your next largest exponent, and notice that 3 is positive, so it's a plus. Our next And then he doesn't have a variable. And that's our order. Now, what would happen if I said ascending order? Ascending would be low to high. So all we would do is switch them around. And go in the opposite order. Adding and subtracting polynomials. Key thing on all of this is add your like terms. So on this first one, adding our a squared, we'll get 7 a squared. Now adding our a's, we'll have negative 3a minus 4a, or negative 7a. And then adding the two terms that don't have variables, 5 minus 2 is 3. And that's it. Now, the second one, it's written with an addition in the middle. So that just means we're adding this whole polynomial to this one. You still want to add your like terms. So notice this first one and this one are like terms. So 6a squared b squared plus negative 3a squared b squared is 3a squared b squared. And then notice these two are also like terms, so we have positive 5a cubed b squared plus a negative 2a cubed b squared, so we'll have plus 3a cubed b squared. Now, same idea, but we are subtracting these. And so one way that I found people find it easier to do here is go ahead and distribute this negative to everything. So this would actually be a positive 2a squared b cubed, this would become a negative. Now when we're combining our like terms, we don't have to worry about that negative. So 6a squared b cubed plus 2a squared b cubed is 8a squared b cubed. And then we'll have negative 2a squared b squared minus a squared b squared, and we'll have negative 3 a squared, b squared. All right, on this one, same idea, but we have to distribute to both instances now. So we'll do that first. And now we just combine our like terms. So we combine our cubes. They're gone. Our squareds. And then left with that. All right, what about if we had this one? Same thing as before. Let's go ahead and take care of that negative. Now, we don't have anybody to combine with the 2a squared. 
We can combine our a's. 3a minus 5a is negative 2a. And then that positive 2 is still left. Alright, now this one, it's the same idea. Let's go ahead and get rid of this negative so you don't have to worry about it. Now we don't have to worry. Let's combine our cubes. So we'll have 7a cubed minus 2a cubed is 5a cubed plus 3a cubed. 8a cubed, and if it helps we can cross them off as we go. And it doesn't matter the order. Now look at your squares. We have a negative 4a squared minus 3a squared is negative 7a squared. Our a's, we have 3a plus 4a is 7a. And then 7 plus 13 is 20. The key thing with this is we need to simplify. So these we've already done. So remember for this one you just multiply your coefficients. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then remember when we deal with variables and exponents, when we multiply the base, we add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5, so negative 8, a to the fifth. This one, it's the same idea. So when we multiply all the coefficients with this negative 3 and 1 6, we can make this a negative 1 and this a half. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. <coughs> so we'll have 5 over 2. And then combining our variables, notice we have an a here and an a squared. So it'll be a cubed. And then our b's, we have a b cubed and a b. Once again, adding our exponents is b to the fourth. Now, when we multiply a polynomial by a monomial, or we'll get to polynomials times polynomials, the key thing here is going to be to distribute. So we remember we need to distribute this to every piece. So when we multiply these two, we have negative 2, a to the fourth. When we multiply it to the middle one, and remember negative times a negative is a positive, and then it'll be a cubed, because a squared times a to the first, it gives us a cubed. And when you multiply it by this last one, negative 6, a squared. And then just double check, are there any like terms that we can combine? There are not, so we are good. This one, it's the same idea. So when we distribute to the first one, we'll get negative 12, x to the eighth, y to the fifth. When we distribute to the second one, we'll get plus 8x to the 16th y. And when we distribute to this last one, 4 times negative a half is negative 2, our x to the 7th, and our y squared. Alright, so now we still have to distribute. We're going to take each piece in this first polynomial and multiply it by each piece in the second one. So first we're going to have this 3x times both pieces. So the first one will give us 6x cubed. And then 3x times the 5x will give us plus 15x squared. And then we also have to multiply this negative 1 to both of them. So that will give us negative 2x squared. And then this negative 1 to the 5x will give us negative 5x. And now we just have to combine our like terms. So this 6x cubed, there's no other like terms for him, so he's by himself. Notice these middle two are like terms because they both have an x squared. So 15 minus 2 is 13x squared. And then we have our minus 5x. So that is simplified.
This next one, it's the same idea. We take everything in that first polynomial and multiply it to everything in the second. So this 2a times 3a is 6a squared. 2a times 2ab is 4a squared b. And then this last one will give us negative 2ab. And then the same idea, we multiply this b to everything. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to drop down, plus 3ab, plus 2ab squared, this last one is minus b squared. And now once again, let's check for any common terms. The only common terms we have are these two, because remember they have to have the exact same variables. So I'll have 6a squared plus 4a squared b plus ab minus 2ab squared minus b squared. Alright, same thing. Everything in the first polynomial gets multiplied to everything in the second polynomial. And then check to see if there are any common terms. It doesn't look like it, so we can just leave our answer like that. Typically, we'll write it all out on one line. I'm not going to be able to fit it, so this is okay. On this one, it's the same idea, but let's start by grouping these two together and multiplying them. So we have this, but we still have times this 2x plus 3y at the end, so we can't forget to write that. And now simplifying, we can combine those two, and that would go to 0. So we're left with x squared minus y squared, and then times this 2x plus 3y. And once again, distribute. Notice there are no common terms, so we can't simplify anything else. Now, remember when we had x squared, that meant we had x times x. So when we have a polynomial squared, this really just means this polynomial times itself. So it will help you to write it that way to remember what it actually means. And now we're just going to distribute again. So this one, we start the same way. Remember, it's this polynomial times itself. So it'll help us if we rewrite that. And now let's distribute this. All right, this next one, once again, still just distributing. And we are left with 25m squared minus 9n squared. This last one. Now remember this 3. It's the whole quantity cubed, so this just means x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. So let's start by multiplying these two together. 
all of this still times x minus 1. Combine our like terms. Now we can't combine any more like terms, so we've got to distribute again. And here, check for like terms. We get x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1.